Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. Today, I had planned to compare the Radeon RX 5600 XT to the GeForce RTX 2016 over 30 games, and while that content is still planned, I've shifted gears to discuss AMD's driver problem after a recent poll that we ran on the community tab. I've also reached out to AMD for a statement, and they have responded, but we'll cover that towards the end of the video. Now, at this point, it's no secret AMD is struggling to iron out the driver-related issues with their Radeon RX 5000 series of GPUs. Typically, we like to give both AMD and Nvidia a few months to iron out bugs when releasing a new GPU series, especially when it's based on a new or mostly new architecture, as was the case with both Turing and Navi. Nvidia certainly had their fair share of teething issues with Turing, but I think it's fair to say they got on top of any major issues very quickly. At this point though, AMD's had seven months to sort out Navi, and by the sounds of it, they just haven't. We've received countless reports of crashing, flickering issues, and of course, the black screen bug. Now, I should just preface this by saying neither Tim nor myself have run into any major issues. Around four to five months ago now, I did get a type of black screen bug just once, and I'm not even sure it's the same type of black screen bugs that people are complaining about online. Um, not even sure if they're related. Basically, my issue was seeing when updating the display driver, I installed the new driver, reset the system, and then upon loading into Windows, I was presented with a blank screen. Nothing more, reset, force a reset, back into Windows, blank screen. The fix was to force reset the system until it prompted me to load into safe mode. There I used DDU, or Display Driver Uninstaller, to remove the bad driver install, then load back into Windows 10 in normal mode, clean install the driver, and after that I never saw the issue again. Actually, the only issue we've both encountered at some point is that weird green or pink screen bug that a lot of people have seen that one, but yeah, we did encounter that quite a few times when installing new drivers, though I haven't seen that one for at least the last few driver updates. So I think that one's gone. It wasn't really a big deal though, and a reset fixed it and it never occurred again until well, it never occurred again until possibly doing another driver update, but it wasn't guaranteed that it would happen. Not really a big deal, minor inconvenience, but it was a bit janky. It's worth noting that Tim hasn't used a 5700 series graphics card as a daily driver, so his experience is limited to his testing on a clean system, though he has used the 5700 XT for a number of super extensive gaming tests spanning several hours that cover pretty much every quality setting in the game and not a single hiccup in all that testing. As for me, well, I've been using the 5700 XT in my main rig for about four months now, and in that time, I've only had a single system lockup, which forced a hard reset, and I have no idea what caused that. I wasn't gaming. Really, it could have been anything. For the first few months, I was using a Core i9 9900K, and recently moved to Threadripper with the 3960X with a fresh install of Windows 10. No issues as of yet. And since I bought about half a dozen 5700 XTs for testing on the channel, I've also fitted out my daughter's gaming systems with 5700 XTs. And after a few months of operation, neither have suffered a single issue of any kind. So at this point, Tim and myself were a little puzzled as to why so many people are having problems. But that's not to say we think you're doing something wrong or that it's not really an issue. Far too many people are reporting problems and many are telling us very similar stories. So there's clearly an issue or perhaps a series of issues. Also, AMD did publicly acknowledge these bugs as known issues in their 20.0.3 driver release notes, stating the following. Some Radeon RX 5700 series graphics users may intermittently experience a black screen while gaming or on desktop. A potential temporary workaround is disabling harbor acceleration applications running in the background, such as web browsers or Discord. They also claim to have solved the following. An intermittent black screen or loss of display may occur when performing parallel actions, such as web browsing, gaming, or watching video. An intermittent black screen or loss of display may occur when the system is left idle at desktop. Meanwhile, in the latest 20.2.1 release notes, they still acknowledge the random black screen issue with the disabled hardware acceleration workaround. They also say a black screen may occur when performing a mode change with a limited number of displays on Radeon RX 5700 series graphics cards. So several months after release, AMD is still working on trying to address the black screen bug. As we understand it, the situation has improved quite a bit, but it still persists even today for some users. 
Given that we haven't run into any major bugs ourselves, we decided to create a poll on the community tab to try and work out how many AMD users were affected and then get some feedback on the problems that they were encountering. Nearly half of all AMD users who took part in our poll say yes, they are or have had serious issues with their Radeon GPU. The poll suggests that 48% of all AMD users have suffered major issues, while we see less than half that figure for NVIDIA users at 22%. That said, I'm surprised by how high the figures are for NVIDIA users. Now, the poll was more of a general question. It didn't target Navi specifically, but based on our feedback in the comment section below the poll, most of the AMD users who voted yes to having issues were using a 5700 series graphics card. Naturally, there's going to be some dodgy votes in there, but we don't believe a few fanboys are going to skew the data for over 40,000 votes too heavily. I mean, that is a seriously large number of votes. So I do think this is pretty clear evidence that AMD has a major problem they need to address. Unfortunately, we're just not sure what's causing all these problems. My guess when asked on our recent Q&A was that it's probably a hardware compatibility issue, and this does seem more and more likely based on all the data we've received and the feedback from our recent poll. Another possibility is one that Tim suggested when addressing this question on the Q&A. Uh, he suggested that a lot of these problems are probably caused by bad driver installs. This is a valid point, as both Tim and myself have run into numerous issues with AMD drivers, and sometimes even with NVIDIA drivers after updates. The solution has always been to reboot into safe mode, then remove all display drivers using DDU, and then load back into normal Windows, I suppose is what you'd call it, and install the latest driver package. And AMD's drivers, they do appear especially sensitive, and that has been the case for as long as I can remember. As for my theory regarding hardware compatibility, it's not surprising that AMD doesn't have the ability to test the degree of hardware they need to before release, making a good portion of the population beta testers. It's not an unacceptable approach really, assuming they can squash bugs as they crop up in a timely manner, but unfortunately this is clearly not something they've been able to do, and it's led to Radeon customers having a very crappy experience. This situation will result in a death spiral for the Radeon Technologies Group if they can't get a handle on the problem. In order for them to detect bugs, they need a large user base submitting crash reports. But if they fail to address these issues in a timely manner as they're reported, users will seek alternatives. And I can't tell you how many people have told me they got rid of their 5700 XT and replaced it with a GeForce graphics card. Drivers seem to have always been a bit of an uphill battle for AMD, but at times they've managed to get on top of things and get the most out of their GPUs. Fourth gen GCN was a good example, though even here it took them about 12 months before they really got things sorted out, at least in terms of performance. Stability never seemed to be that much of an issue, at least from what we saw, but again we're talking about a fourth iteration of an architecture. Over the years we've heard countless stories about how AMD has been bullied by big old mean Nvidia, and while some of those stories are no doubt true, I can't help but feel AMD's been kicking AMD the hardest. Back in the good old days when AMD had superior tech, it was again let down by drivers. Popular titles such as League of Legends were well known to play poorly with Radeon GPUs, suffering from stuttering and just generally poor performance, at least relative to the Nvidia competition. Getting back to the upcoming RTX 2060 versus 5600 XT battle, with these two products so close in terms of price and performance, I'm going to find it really hard to recommend the Radeon GPU given these driver issues. For AMD to charge comparable prices to that of Nvidia, they really have to offer a similar experience, and right now it just doesn't appear as though they're doing that. And it seems many of you agree, given what Tim discovered in his recent deep dive into our Amazon sales data. Basically, whenever competing AMD and NVIDIA products come in at a similar cost per frame, you guys prefer NVIDIA. For example, we saw this with the RX 5700 and RTX 2060, when both were priced at $350 US. Given AMD's current market position, they simply can't afford to be driving customers away. And we're not talking about potential customers here, but actual customers who have invested in their products. Having someone buy a 5700 series graphics card only to get fed up with issues months later and then sell or return it for a GeForce product is devastating for the company. They've pushed away someone who was investing in their products into the hands of the green team, possibly never to return due to how bad their Radeon experience was. So rather than launch more Navi-based GPUs, 
AMD should have taken a step back and address the problems with the 5700 series before pushing out more products that rely on the same buggy drivers. Long term, it seems quite clear to me that rushing out these products before fixing major bugs will do them more harm than good. It has to be also placing just a huge amount of pressure on board partners who have to deal with unnecessary RMA requests due to poor drivers. And reading through your feedback on the poll, the main issue appears to be the black screen bug. This issue sees the display randomly turn black, as if the monitor had turned off, and there's no way to recover the system without a hard reset. Those of you who are suffering from this bug report it happening at random, when gaming, when not gaming, and even with the system at idle. We've also seen a number of users reporting workarounds to solve the black screen bug. They include some or a combination of the following, disabling hardware acceleration, as suggested by AMD, editing the TDR delay in the registry, disabling the PCIe link state power management, and even installing an Intel iGPU driver if they're using an Intel CPU with an iGPU. Having said all that, apart from having to execute a clean driver and still using DDU in safe mode, again, neither Tim or myself have had to edit or change anything to get our 5700 series GPUs to work correctly. And just to be clear for testing, I change absolutely nothing. I install the drivers and away we go for that out of the box experience. I have to say, I do find it a bit surprising that I've extensively tested more than a dozen 5700 XT graphics cards. And I also run one in my own PC as a daily driver, and then two more of them in other daily driven gaming PCs within my own home. And we haven't encountered a single issue. All three systems comprise of completely different hardware, no two components are the same. I do believe, as Tim suggested in our recent Q&A, that a good portion of the problems reported by users can be solved with a clean driver install. That said, I'm also not suggesting DDU will solve everyone's problems. There is clearly an issue with the AMD drivers that make them susceptible to these kinds of issues. And this is something AMD needs to address, and urgently. The reason we haven't been all over AMD about this issue until now is, as I've said more than once, neither Tim nor myself have run into any problems. So it is difficult to report on an issue we're not seeing. It really wasn't until the poll that we got a good idea of just how widespread these problems really are. And for us, this is the heart of the issue. It's extremely difficult to diagnose, given we can't replicate it. I've also spoken to a few retailers to see if they're seeing issues with 5700 XTs, and I've received some interesting reports. Basically, the return rate for 5700 XTs is more than five times that of competing Nvidia products, and when they get these systems back with various reported issues, they're unable to replicate them due to their random nature. Again, this ends up hurting AMD as these retailers are less likely to promote Radeon products due to the headaches they cause through returns and unhappy customers. It's also why we often see GeForce graphics cards dominating pre-builds. So here we have another example of why Nvidia ends up doing so much better. They aren't bribing these retailers to predominantly use their hardware as some would suggest. The retailers are simply trying to avoid unhappy customers along with the costs associated with having to ship systems back and then the time invested to try and work out what's at fault. Now, as I was piecing this content together, I reached out to AMD informing them of our poll and asked if they cared to comment. Here is their official statement at this point in time. Stability of our drivers is a key priority for our software team. They are monitoring forum discussions closely, including the black screen and other issues users are reporting, and we are actively identifying and working on fixes. As soon as we have more information to share, we will let you know. We encourage users to report issues they're experiencing here, amd.com slash report, so that our team can investigate. So it's good that AMD's acknowledged these issues and are working to fix them, but it's not good that we're talking about a seven month old product that's still not fixed. So all in all, just not good enough from AMD and they're hurting themselves very badly here. Hopefully at this point, they're now throwing every possible resource at this problem and shortly we'll have a proper and permanent fix. For now though, not much more to say on this one. I think going forward, it will be quite difficult to recommend Radeon graphics cards when competing with Nvidia at sort of similar price to performance ratio, uh, given the information that we've received on our poll and just the continued complaints about AMD drivers. Hopefully they can get on top of this situation soon as it's already been seven months, so they've had plenty of time. But yeah, that's, that's just the situation at this point. As I said, not sure what more we can say on this one, but if you have any other information or comments, thoughts below, of course, drop them there and I'll be sure to read them. But that is gonna do it for this one. 
you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe to all the YouTube stuff. And if you'd like to support our work uh, more directly, become part of the Harbour Box community, then you can join us over on Patreon, monthly live streams, a Discord chat where you can talk about all this kind of stuff. And yeah, just a, it's a pretty cool community. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm your host, Steve, and I'll see you again next time.